significant digits. Every measured value has a certain number of significant digits. We can use the significant digits of a measured value to determine the accuracy and the precision of the measured value. We may determine significant digits of a measured value by using one or more of the following significant digit rules. Any time you have a digit that is not zero, a non-zero digit, it's considered significant. The tricky thing really is determining when zero is considered significant. The rest of these rules concern zero being significant or not. Like rule two, if the zero is between significant digits, it's considered significant. If a zero is tagged like having a bar over it, it's considered significant. If a zero is to the right of a significant digit and a decimal point, it's considered significant. However, if you have trailing zeros that are not tagged in a whole number, those trailing zeros would not be significant. If you have leading zeros in a decimal measurement that is less than one, they are not considered significant. Let's look at some examples. 305 centimeters. Three and five are significant because they're non-zero digits. The zero between three and five is also significant because it is between two significant digits. So all three of the digits would be significant. Here, this zero is significant, the fourth digit, because it has a bar over it, indicating that it is significant. This zero between five and the zero with the bar over it is also significant because, because it's between two significant digits. In this next measurement, the first zero here between three and five is considered significant because it's between two significant digits. The zero after the decimal is also significant because it's after a decimal and a significant digit, so it's considered significant. This zero here between the fives is significant because it's between significant digits and this zero at the end is also significant because it's to the right of a decimal and a significant digit. Hence, all of these digits are significant in this measurement. The accuracy of a measured value is how close the measured value is to the actual true value. The accuracy of a measurement depends on the number of significant digits in the measurement. In a set of measurements or measured values, the measurement with the least number of significant digits is the least accurate measurement in the set. Here's an example. We want to determine the accuracy of each of these measurements. 3,700 inches. This measurement contains only two significant digits. The non-zero digits are significant but the zeros to the right are not because they are zeros to the right of significant digits in a whole number. So they are not significant, hence there are only two significant digits in this measurement. The next one, 37.0 inches, the th three and seven are significant digits because they are non-zero digits. The zero to the right of the decimal is also significant because it's to the right of a decimal and a significant digit. Hence, this measurement contains three significant digits.